The race to the Oscars begin this weekend with the Golden Globes. Streaming services dominated the nominations and history could be made. CBS 4's Donya Backus has a preview of the top contenders. Yes. Hi, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. Netflix could be the Golden Globe's biggest winner. The streaming service leads the award nominations with 34 across the film and television categories. It's very competitive. What's this? Who owns Baltic Avenue? Netflix's divorce drama Marriage Story came out on top with six nods, and its mobster film The Irishman has five. Both are up against 1917, Joker, and The Two Popes in the best drama category. We are seeing a big shift in the culture of award shows right now because Netflix, Amazon, the streaming services, even Apple TV dominated the award show circuit, and in particular, the Golden Globe nominations this year. Absent from the nominations, are women directors and screenwriters. Those categories are without a female nominee. Ava DuVernay was the last female director to be nominated for a Golden Globe back in 2015 for Selma. Barbara Streisand's 1984 win makes her the only woman to win a Golden Globe for directing. As we saw last year with Natalie Portman calling out the Golden Globes for only nominating male directors when she presented in the category, it kind of remains to be seen what, if anything, will be said. And when it comes to Golden Globe history, Aquafina could make it. She She's the projected frontrunner for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy Movie for her role in The Farewell. Isn't it wrong to lie? If she wins, she'll be the first Asian woman to do so. You know Diamond from the Bronx, right? There's also lots of buzz around Jennifer Lopez, who's nominated for Best Supporting Actress in a Movie for Hustlers. She's been an, a, a perennial presenter for the show, so it stands to reason that she will take home that Golden Globe statue on Sunday. J-Lo was last nominated for a Golden Globe in 1998 for Selena. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles.